Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Mahoka Kokono Yutose, episode number 6. Alright, uh, the previous episode we had uh, the conclusion of the uh, first arc of Mahoka Kokono Yutose and uh, in the end we got a little bit more scenes of a few characters which we never got to see much about, uh, you know, much about in the uh, original anime that is Red Tose those new characters and they i think they were shown obviously they were shown because uh like you know miyuki's uh, school fought against them but that was it now they are going more into that and they're showing us those characters what they are thinking what they are discussing what they're talking all that stuff and obviously i'm guessing we're going to see more of Crimson Prince and Cardinal George as well when they are like you know when we get to see them but I'm guessing we won't see much of them because that was mainly Tatsuya's story where we you know Tatsuya's team and they had a fight I think more uh, what do you call it more the more the spotlight will fall on these few characters these uh, female characters that we never saw before you know and more will be elaborated we're going to see more of them so it's interesting to like you know I'll, I'll be like you know like i think this is the way they're doing this is quite nice because the things that are kind of they kind of did not show in the main story has been shown in the spin-off so it's kind of making constructing a full story like that so yeah so yeah guys without further ado let's get started we're going to start i'm guessing we're going to start the uh, comp uh, the tournament arc that was I think the nine school competitions arc something like that I forgot the name but uh, from this episode so let's see what this episode brings so yeah without further ado let's get started so I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's uh, get this video started okay so here's the countdown three two one go Okay, Miyuki and Honoka. <laughs> oh, that's this one. <laughs> oh, this was actually a prerequisite for. Okay, I think so. on fire <laughs> yeah okay oh well, now that she's in school in the school she can participate as well all right student council Nine school competitions. Yeah, that's a big name. <laughs> <laughs> yes, all right. Okay. Here we go. The nine school competitions arc start. I have to say, like, in Retose, probably this arc uh, was really one of my favorites because especially <laughs> the battle between, <laughs> you know, Crimson Prince and Tasia, like, wow, that was something. Boy. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to see that here because as we can see like, you know, they're really not showing us whatever happened with Tatsuya, you know, like everything like any kind of incident that was that we saw in Red Tose and not been shown here. So unfortunately, we probably won't see the fight between Tasuya and um, Crimson Prince. But we might see some little, I think montage or something that might be shown because yeah, I think they'll kind of do it something like that. Because uh, like that whole thing was too important to be skipped outright, I think. I'm not sure. But yeah, all right. Okay. 
Okay. Nine school competitions begin. Okay. Day of inauguration. <laughs> okay, I don't think we saw this in Red Tose. Hmm, well. <laughs> oh, oh god. Wow, great. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> okay, her name is Subaru. I always forget her name. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh my god. Wait. wait. What what's she doing? <laughs> Um what? <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what what should Oh boy. Um is that really it? Hmm. God, what the? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> God. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well. Social gathering thing. Oh. Oh yeah. Okay. He, here's where they meet Cardinal George the f uh, Crimson Prince the first time. Yeah. There you go. Oh yeah, these new characters, kind of. Hmm. Okay, we'll see. <laughs> ah, Mew is here, I think. Yep, everyone's here, Saigusa. Oh boy. Okay. Oh yeah, they skipped that. Okay. Well, obviously. Oh yeah. Okay, this thing. <laughs> well, mm, yeah. Wait, what? Wait, she knows her? Does she? Oh, or oh, maybe not. Like, she acted, he reacted like, you know, in such a way that I thought she knew her or something. <laughs> Illustrious family. Ivy. 
アイリッシュオリートコーおいやおしばおけでうんわっか Oh my god Did they Did she Oh boy Okay <laughs> Eclair Okay Daughter of the 18th Piercing movement. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Like. Okay. Oh, who's it? Miyuki? Oh, no. Amy. Oh, okay, this is a.、Uh, Alright, oh my god, okay. <laughs> oh boy. I saw an. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Oh boy. Okay, Miyuki is not here. Oh, there she is. Hi,、right, there she is. Ah, such elegancy. Is, is that even a word? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, oh my god, she's here. <laughs> Ooh, all right. What? <laughs> Okay, we'll see. Well, obviously, we know <laughs> all of us k n o w the result. Oh, oh, it's, it's the beginning. Okay, oh, that、uh, I forgot her name, the one who knows Tatsuya. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Keiko Matoba Mayumi Saikusa. Oh, okay. We all know what's going to happen, obviously. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I think like, she, she's, she was like 96 or something, and the opponent was like 13 or something. As far as I remember.
Oh no, hundred. Okay, hundred upon hundred. All right. <laughs> Third straight victory. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> All right, here's Okay, here's where everything goes wrong, doesn't it? Like, my memory is kind of hazy, but, but I think like the accident happens. Okay. <laughs> my God, the animation. <laughs> oh, Tasha is here. Oh, oh yeah, she, she, okay. He goes for a morning jog. <laughs> hmm. But if she gets tired before hmm. <laughs> Oh boy Ah. <laughs> oh no <laughs> Whoa, okay All right. Uh. Yeah. Well, at least she is honorable in that department, you know. Yeah, she's a little bit prideful. That's just it. All right, I think this is where everything goes wrong. All right, let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Oh, but... Yeah... Oh, God! Yeah, yeah. Well, the heavy head it is. Ah. Mm. Mm, no, as a matter of fact, <laughs> yeah, no, okay, so here's when Miyuki gets in. Yeah, she's she's getting freaked out because like obviously everything's like on her now. Oh boy. Mm. 
Yeah. And that as well, you know. Hmm. Some kind of, yeah. First half. Yeah, here we go. Now's the real, okay. 320. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, she's here. What? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. And here's where we get the um the gadget, I think. Yeah, yeah, this is where we, she gets the gadget from Tasia. <clears throat> oh boy. Yeah, but yeah, obviously like because Mari Yeah, obviously, like, if nothing happened, Mari would have won. Oh boy, here we go. Oh boy. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. He wasn't this much... Uh you know affected in, in reto say like here it seems as if <sighs> okay It, it seems oh boy is... oh, what can i say it's it's like the way they're showing everything it's, it's seeming it seems like they're like the main characters and they're like <laughs> you know getting ready for a, the final battle or something we'll be able to do it something like that <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, that was the end. All right, so one thing that kind of bothered me in this episode is Crimson and Prince's behavior like yeah like obviously we know like he was kind of like you know attracted towards Miyuki in Retose even we saw we even saw that in Retose but was he always like this like like whenever Miyuki's conversation is you know coming he's like in his own world and like he's saying like angel and stuff like stuff like this like I don't think he was this much. I don't know. Maybe they did not show us in Red Tose, but <laughs> like he looks like a. <laughs> I don't know. Like it feels weird seeing like you know Crimson Prince like this. Oh boy. Like I remember in Red Tose there was like only one instance. I think one. No, not one. I think two instances 
one instance was when they first met uh, i remember in the hallway you know uh, cardinal george and uh, crimson prince were there and tasuya and miyuki was there and i think that was the first time that she he actually showed interest and the second time was i think after the end where um like you know in, in the closing ceremony or something like after everything happens like after crimson prince loses against tasuya that time okay that's the end that time so these were the two times when we actually saw them uh, saw him you know uh, what can i say like like that in that manner like you know showing active interest in miyuki but here it's, it's like he's like ah miyuki <laughs> like <what? laughs> angel has descended something like that he's acting like that like i don't know anyways maybe maybe they really did not show us that in rettos and like you know maybe that really did happen and we just didn't know <laughs> and we're getting to know this because we're seeing everything from this perspective maybe that's the actual case all right anyways <laughs> okay so here's the beginning of the nine <clears throat> nine school competitions arc and uh, now okay so we've seen most of the things in this episode in Retose as well in one way or the other but here more importance was given to the other characters that is I think Eclair and uh, Toko and there's this another girl I can't remember something like these, these were the names of the girls I, I can't remember I forgot but yeah we're seeing more stuff about them these three characters and we kind of also saw a glimpse of Cardinal George and Crimson Prince but obviously as we can see more um focus will be given on these three characters who we only saw in Retose but never get to like you know uh know more about them now obviously like we one thing we could kind of understand from this is uh, episode is these three characters uh especially uh i think eclair and the blue haired girl these two characters especially they are quite overconfident and uh like you know like obviously because i'm sure they have no idea who they're dealing with and <clears throat> like <laughs> like in retro say everything happened in such a fast and swift manner like it was it was just like you know they came on stage had the battle they lost and you know like uh Miyuki's team won and then they goes back and that was it but here i'm sure like you know we're gonna get to see much more uh details on what actually happened in the battle and all and uh, yeah it will be interesting to see what happened and what the opponents were thinking after they lost and after they started the battle stuff like that and uh, yeah and obviously we know knew whatever was going to happen in this episode the whole thing with mari and uh, you know her actually trying to save the Com uh, the other girl and getting injured in that process and you know being unable to continue on Miyuki replacing her all these stuff uh, you know we, we knew that and that basically we got to see what happened here in a different perspective and you know like also we went to the <coughs> uh, what can I say went to the opponents like you know we went to the uh, not went to sorry uh we saw everything from the opponent's standpoint as to what the opponents thought when that happened for example that girl who was uh you know in the same competition with mari how she thought about that thing and how like you know she felt about winning in that way because we can see that they she <laughs> she was kind of like you know was already a little bit intimidated by jumanji <laughs> And Saigusa, as she knew their actual, like you know, a capability, and but at the same time, like you know, like I'm sure she also, like you know, realized that she would lose as soon as the match started, because like obviously Mari would have won, but then like suddenly something like this happens, she wins, and everyone's like, oh, you won such a good job, but yeah, like obviously, like she she felt bad for the whole situation because it's as if. Like, you know the win was something that she got because mari was out you know 
and uh, yeah it's kind of a weird feeling like but yeah like nothing else to do here and uh, yeah and also another thing uh, the girl eclair she uh, as i said like you know these characters were overconfident are overconfident and but obviously we can one thing we can see that they are not bad you no know? they're good characters a tad bit overconfident that's basically it and uh, like from the whole scene where the other two students say that oh the incident in the bus you know if like you know if they got injured in that it would have been better or something like that they were saying stuff like that and uh, she was uh, claire was like 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 it was like how dare you like you know think about something like that you know like uh, wishing for someone's harm just so that you know you can win this or something like that like that's not a good uh you know good thing that's not something that you should do and that basically shows us that yeah she is not unreasonable she is pretty um, yeah she's she, she, she's honorable ba basically that's it and uh, a tad bit overconfident but obviously like people who have confidence in them and who are strong they have this overconfidence a little bit so like yeah that's nothing new but yeah okay and uh, what else oh and we got the, the scene where honoka tries like actually gets uh in, you know like thinks about how she can contribute and starts training and everything <laughs> running jogging in the, in the morning and meets Tatsuya I don't think this was shown in Retosei no I don't think so and uh, we see like you know there's like a little scene here where Tatsuya helps her train and obviously he Tatsuya is like you know they are under Tatsuya because Tatsuya is like <clears throat> doing the the CAD management for them and and like obviously like from Retosei as far as I can remember because of that they you know they are they get a lot of advantage you know Miyuki's team because like, this is like you know like this is Tatsuya he uh, like you know so obviously like it, that in itself was a big advantage for them and as I say like you know like the weapon is also important like your you yourself is important like if you are like a level 80 character that's all well and good but if 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 you have like a level one <laughs> weapon obviously it's, it, it's kind of bad because you won't be able to show off your actual uh, capabilities because the weapon in itself is bad so uh like so like, you know if you think it like this i think like in these type of situations having the weapon better than you is more uh, what can I say advantageous to you because like you know like I don't know like, uh, like as I said like you know the, the the thing that they're going to use for these matches these are the most important things here these are the things that you're using and these are the things that are uh, going to sh help you show your actual capabilities you can be immensely talented but if the things that you're using are bad not properly uh, optimized uh, obviously you won't be able to show off your talent so like you know it won't matter either way but if if there's someone who is quite weak but the things that they're using are strong i think that makes a bigger difference you know but i don't know it's just how i think of it but yeah like anyway so in, in that manner I, like obviously taxi has the biggest contribution here and uh, obviously Tasia being in this team was the major I think uh, push that they needed for them to win all not all but you know win most of the matches and become a com you know a total uh, getting a complete victory and uh, yeah and, and I think like this is a, like you know, after this uh, Tasia's reputation starts uh, growing I can't remember properly but I think like yeah something like this like after after this uh, whole arc after seeing how he is, people start changing their mind about Tatsuya and like you know as soon as people start changing their mind about Tatsuya, since he's a weed, I'm sure everyone's going to start changing their mind about all the other weeds as well because you know like they're, they're obviously they're going to think that 
oh my god like this guy here he's a weed but he's so strong he's so talented so are there similar people like this in the weeds as well like this is i think this is like one of the biggest um reasons why the discrimination will be able to end in the future as like you know Saigus had said in one of in, in, the, in the previous episode that like <clears throat> like i ask you guys i request you guys to help me create a place where this discrimination can be totally taken out and uh, like that's why she needs everyone's help because this is not something that she herself will be able to do and i think tasha is like the biggest what can i say like biggest thing that changed everyone's mind because the way tasuya you know reputation increased as like you know especially in season two late in the later portion it, like people started changing their minds about blooms and uh, and the weed the whole discrimination and he, tasuya was like what can i say the uh, representative of the weeds or something like that i don't know like you know like people saw tasya and were like okay like he's a weed but he's so talented so yeah they're definitely like you know weeds like this a lot of other students like this as well so we should probably stop this discrimination thing so yeah like tasya is like the biggest thing here who can probably change the whole situation the whole discrimination thing that happens but yeah anyways that's something completely different but yeah, okay, and then uh, what else? Um, uh, I don't think there's anything else. Was that it? Yeah, and then we see a little scene of uh, the other, you know, the opponents kind of <laughs> having a little conversation. Now, it <laughs> oh boy, that scene reminded me of one of those, like, you know, it seemed as if they're the main characters, you know? It was like, oh, like, you know, like, this, these are our opponents. We have to win. We can do this, guys come on <laughs> oh boy and uh, yeah that was that was kind of like you know funny because usually that's what happens like you know like you know <laughs> like, that's what the main characters go through like you know they're like but it's um, like uh, Miyuki and <laughs> Honoka also had the same kind of conversation after that but still like you know it, it seemed as if like you know like they were like uh the, the girl who won in the uh boarding competition he was like i want you to beat that girl to show everyone how powerful you are i'll do everything in my power to support you in that because you are the pride of third high i id ishki and they were like you know shaking hands and everything <laughs> and she's like it's not the support i want i want to achieve victory with you miss Mizu. oh my god Okay, let's go for a one-two finish for third high in the official Mirage Bat, Bat event. Wow, it was like it was like a whole scene of like, you know, the main characters kind of prepping themselves for something that's going to happen. And it's kind of... <laughs> and after that, like, you know, like, Honok and uh, <laughs> Miyuki is like, not to worry about anything. My brother is here. Only Sama is here. So don't worry about it. And that was it. Like... <laughs> okay but yeah anyways and uh, yeah that was it nothing much to talk about this episode because obviously everything uh, that we saw in this episode was some way or the other shown in Retose and uh, we just got everything from a different perspective here like that was the major difference in this <clears throat> episode and uh, yeah i think that was it and the new characters we also got to see the new characters what they thought about it <coughs> you know miyuki and the others mm, and uh, yeah that was it so i'm guessing the next uh, episode will be the mirage no i think it will be will it be the mirage bat event i think so so we're going to <coughs> Yeah, I think yeah, I think the next episode will be that most probably. I'm not sure, but yeah, either either the next episode or the episode after that, the whole you know Miyuki uh, in the Mirage Bat event that will be that. And I'm guessing after that, like you know, it'll, it'll take one or two more episodes, I think, and then uh, like the whole battle between Tasya and Crimson Prince will happen, 
and then the this arc will end so yeah so are they so wait a minute so are they trying to do like um will they even be able to do it like i'm thinking like are they like trying to do uh the whole first season that reto say showed like each and everything that they showed are they trying to like you know do that in this season like you know like this season will be like uh like the timeline of this season will be from the beginning of reto say season one to the end of reto say season one something like that because as far as i can remember reto say reto say was 24 episodes wasn't it like at the first season yeah i think so yeah it was 24 episodes so uh no no i don't think that it's possible like this is the sixth episode like half of the episodes are over no i don't think it's possible to show each and everything you know that happened in red Tose season one because there's a lot of things that are going to happen after this yeah i don't think it's possible i was thinking like are, are they going to like you know try to cram in everything if they really try to do that that i think that will be kind of weird and rushed in my opinion because you know like 24 episodes being crammed into 12 episodes i don't think that's something that you should do but who knows uh, i don't think they're going to do that because after this there's a lot of things that is going to happen in season one so yeah i think it's kind of impossible to do that but wait let's wait for it you know and see so yeah that was it guys so that was my reaction to mahoka kokono yuto say episode number six so if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed be sure to comment down below anything you want to say or if you want to let me anything let uh let me know uh, like tell me anything <laughs> be sure to comment down and uh yeah so yeah guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of mahoka coco no yuto say so until then goodbye and have a nice day